welcome to today's mini lesson. We are going to be looking at vector and scalar quantities today. Now, the first word and the key word that you need to remember in order to ascertain the difference between these two is direction. Vectors must have a direction attached to the measurement of whatever form of motion is being described or analysed. So direction meaning that we're measuring something in a certain angle or bearing. We care about point A and point B and the line of motion that, that's, or that is taking place over. Whereas scalar is one dimensional. We are only measuring one form of magnitude of whatever it is that we are analysing or tracking. For example, time. We just have a number of seconds. Distance, we just have a number of centimetres or metres or kilometres or miles or whatever the unit is. We can describe scalar quantities with one dimension. One dimension up there. So there is the unit and then the numerical value attached to it. So it could be seconds if we are talking about time. It could be metres if we are talking about distance. We could combine metres and seconds to generate a scalar quantity of speed. Because speed doesn't rely on a direction. Someone could be zigzagging, someone could be going around in circles. A ball could be being changed by you know, the forces of the wind or drag. That doesn't matter, that doesn't impact the, the form or, or the, the measure of speed. All we're caring about there is how many meters or how many units of distance are covered in however many units of time. We're not worrying about the direction that it's currently moving. If we were to incorporate the second dimension and we were to include a direction on that, that's when we would start to talk about velocity where we start with point A and point B, and regardless of the route that an object takes in order to get from A to B, we have a time, we have a distance, and we also have the displacement or the direction. So we could talk about how if that was north and that was east, then we're traveling in a northeast direction with a velocity of however far the displacement was, because displacement is start point and end point, let's just say that that was 10 metres, and it took them 10 seconds to travel from point A to point B. Now their speed along their route might have been different. At certain points they might have been running in slightly different directions, but that doesn't matter with scalar quantities. That's in the moment, that's present, that's one dimension. We're just measuring motion in one way. Whereas vector quantities, there must be some form of direction attached to it. So someone's weight, for example, is their mass, which would be scalar, so if I put that over here, mass. But to turn it into a vector or a weight, we would then have to add the direction of gravity onto the mass to generate that figure of weight. When we're talking about vector and scalar in sport, quite often our open environments involve far more vector quantities, vector measurements. So things like throwing a ball accurately, or hitting an object, or making a pass. We're dealing with vectors, because there's more than one dimension in play. The person, let's just say we've got a um, you know, a basketball player who's trying to pass the ball on to a, a teammate, they're having to consider not only the force that they apply, okay, so energy, which is scalar, not only are they considering the speed that they move their arms in, but also the angle of their release, be it the pitch up or down, or the angle left to right. If they don't consider direction, then the chances are that it's going to be an incorrect pass. It's not going to end up reaching the person that they intend the ball to get there, or to get to even. So vector quantities are often the, the things that require the most thought, the most focus. 
decision-making skills are required in order to execute movements which we can measure using vector quantities. Scalar, on the other hand, are one-dimensional. So one unit of measure is far simpler to, to see, to display, to execute. And a lot of them turn up in athletics, where we are trying to perform in a maximum time, over a maximum distance. It could be that we're trying to cover the most or move the most mass. Think about Olympic weightlifting. So vector, two-dimensional, and they rely on direction. Whereas scalar doesn't require direction, it's one-dimensional, and some examples of those are time, distance, speed, and mass. Some examples of vector could be our acceleration, our velocity, the height that we jump to, because we're dealing with the upwards direction and the distance. Vectors come up in open environments and sport, and scalar come up in isolated events, a lot of them in athletics. And that is a very quick overview of the difference between vector and scalar quantities. I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.